Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. You know from our recent episodes that we had a little bit of a disaster going on because my India visa actually got denied. So we had to cancel our India trip really last, last minute. Yeah, we were super excited to go to India and it was a real pain, but you know, that's life. I also realized that my passport ran out of pages. So now I applied for a new one, but this takes up to three months. So in the end, we had to admit defeat and realize that we're not gonna be able to travel overseas until later on in the year. So we decided that we needed to go on a UK adventure instead Dead. and what's the first thing we need for a new adventure new bikes we went on Facebook marketplace and decided to try to pick up two bikes in one day and this is how it went We made it safely to London Whee! and now we're going to see the first of the two bikes we will be visiting today and the first bike is actually my bike so I'm super excited. Let's check it out. Cecile, nice Cecile, you. you're, you're from yes. France? Yes, I am. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it looks as pretty. <laughs> Whoa, there it is. Okay, that is even more beautiful than I expected. Yeah. It's a great looking 125, huh? Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. So I bought it because I got my CBT July 2019. Okay. Yeah. Bought this one, then got my full license yes. and Did still you... didn't sell it. I just kept it because I love okay. it. Okay. Yeah. It's low, yes? Yeah. It's very low. Very low. Yeah, yeah it looks so good. Well, that's but... why I bought it. I, I want like a proper looking bike. Yeah, yeah. I mean. And the, tire, and the tire is very big, which very is, big, which is big. I mean, you could yeah. ride on the beach with this one, I think. Yeah, I think it's they big. were made for sense. Can I do a little, little oh. circle with it? It's yeah. so lightweight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is it all right? Yeah. yeah? Brilliant, it's really cool. Yeah. Do you have any issue? Yeah, let me know. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Have fun. Yeah. 20 minutes later. Success, insurance sorted, tax sorted, transfer of ownership sorted. I have my own bike. <laughs> so that's one bike down, and now we have to ride 92 miles to get to the second one, which on this bike is going to be an adventure. I can't wait. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay, ready? I already love it! How's it going? All right? How are you going? All right, nice to meet you, Oli, Lavi. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from originally? I'm from Germany. Oh, Germany? Yes. I didn't yes. recognize the accent at all. <laughs> so here it is, hey, look at that. Wow. Looks just like the other one. Nice, yeah. <laughs> so, after riding 140 miles all the way from Whitstable in the southeast, our bikes are finally home, and here they are. <laughs> So 
So these are Suzuki RV125s, otherwise known as Van Vans, and as the name suggests, they are 125 cc's with a whopping 11 brake horsepower. The RV125 was manufactured by Suzuki between 1972 and 1982, and then reintroduced as the RV125 Van Van in 2003, and they produced this bike until 2016. My bike is that bike. So let's go over there. So my bike is from 2011 and it has 24,405 miles on the clock. And look at it, it's all retro and cool with its black design. Look at this chunky, chunky rear tire with this tread. Plus the bit I like the most actually, this awesome retro orange van van lettering. I mean, it's just a really beautiful bike. And my bike is from 2009 and it has 12,969 miles on the clock. It was really love at first sight. It has a beautiful brown seat with cream color and it just looks really, really awesome. So why the Van Vans? Well, first of all, they're very lightweight, only 120 kilo and they have a very, very low seat. 77 centimeters and a very low center of gravity as well so i think it will be really really hard to drop them <laughs> yeah i think even lavi will get her feet on the ground also look at this back tire it says on it 180 slash 80 which i'm not exactly sure what it means but it is a massive big back tire it's very wide so perfect for chucking through the mud and other rough terrain also if you come around here you can see that the exhaust here is really high up actually, so that could get through some pretty deep water as well. So all these characteristics are pretty much perfect for our next trip because here is our new plan. Our new plan is to ride the UK section of the Trans-Euro Trail, otherwise known as the Tet. The Trans-Euro Trail is a motorcycle route created to include as much off-road and dirt road riding as the UK can offer. It runs from Dover all the way through England and Wales to Northumberland at the border to Scotland. Unmetalled public roads and byways in England and Wales, commonly known as green lanes, follow historic pilgrimage, military, funeral and trade routes between settlements, often crisscrossing the UK's most scenic rural landscapes and in some cases dating back to prehistory. The Tet utilizes this network of green roads incorporating scenic routes through areas of ancient and outstanding natural beauty. It's basically camping under the stars, playing in the mud and getting wet with a great view. It sounds like pretty much the perfect next adventure for us. So for now, we still have some prep to do to get our bikes and our gear ready, but I really, really can't wait to get started on our next adventure. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.